to find one of the oldest survivors on the planet, we must travel from salt water to fresh water, from the tropics to the temperate regions, from open seas to rivers and pools, to an island continent that's been drifting alone for 99 million years. Platypus, part mammal, marsupial, part something else. This strange creature has larger prehistoric ancestors that lived in South America. But now he lives only in Australia. The male has poisonous spurs on his hind legs. Venom production peaks during the mating season, so these spurs are probably used to compete for a female. Platypus live in water that is often turbid with low visibility. platypus is very well adapted to such an environment. Their bills are the ultimate tool for catching food when you can't see far ahead. Rows of receptors precisely detect the tiniest movements in the mud. The platypus is well equipped for life in the river. Skin between the toes has evolved to form webbed feet, homegrown flippers for underwater speed and maneuvering. Even their choice of food is a key to survival. Platypus eat a broad range of animals, so they have many options, from insect larvae and worms to yabbies. Even though they're made for life in the river, they can submerge only for a time period of between 40 and 140 seconds. Australia is a dry continent and platypus need water to survive. If the water hole disappears, the platypus will die. So rain is a welcome sight. The platypus is a monotreme, one of the few mammals left on the planet that lays eggs. And for this, she must build a burrow in the riverbank. Platypus fur can trap a layer of warm air. Even when the weather's wet, he stays warm and dry. If the worst happens and food supplies dwindle, the platypus has one more trick. He stores surplus energy as fat in his tail to be used up in lean times. He might be odd looking, but this funny creature is the perfect collection of tools to win the race of life.